Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Jui, and as you see in my title, Ghana is my home country, as I was born and raised and lived in Ghana for almost two decades. So well, today, we are going to explore Accra, the capital of Ghana, through the lens of me. I hope you guys enjoy. Just FYI, injera is not a Guinean food. Um, my boyfriend is Ethiopian, so his mom was making injera, that's why it's part of the footage. But I just wanted there to be no confusion. Yes. Down the street. So to give a brief explanation, because this was Korea week, um, the Korean embassy in Ghana was doing an event um, at Legon University. So yesterday, the footage you saw was a quiz based like re um, related to Korea, and the winner could go to can go to Korea basically to attend this quiz. I don't know much details about it, but then I think it, it's an annual event. And today I'm going because there's like a food bazaar kind of thing and also dancing and singing competition which is also they give prizes out so it was pretty awesome um please wait for the footage because the dancing and singing is just amazing guys like please take a look it was so fun maybe you guys should participate next year <laughs> Guys, I'm just adding a background music, hopefully not to get caught by some copyright because of the song. I really wanted to show you some more footage of him and the dancing, but like, I couldn't risk that, so there we go. Oh, that's a nice weather though. Ish. It's not. Congratulations, by the way. It was so nice. Yeah, yes. Amazing. We're so like, yeah. oh my gosh. So after the whole um, talent show, um, they prepared us lunch to try out like Korean cuisine. So they had kimbap, tteokbokki, hot dog, and other dishes that I'll explain. So this is hot dog, which is like a traditional Korean dessert. Um, and this is kimbap, not sushi, okay? And this is takkangjong, which is also amazing. You guys should try it out. Um, that one there is bulgogi, which is um, also very amazing. It's like marinated pork, I think. Um, 
So these combinations, like one of the classics, you know, I will write the description down of like a few Korean restaurants in Tema and Accra as well, if you guys are interested in trying out. Because I know Nina No and Osu and also East Ligon, they provide with like all these food that are shown in the video. So it would be amazing if you guys could actually check it out. We had lunch, we came to Accra Mall. Um, <laughs> I just came for some... It's not a souvenir shopping for me, per se, because I was just buying stuff for myself. But then this is a souvenir shop located inside a Uh They sell, like, amazing, really cute things, but I will show you in other footages. There are other um, flea markets and other places that you can check out and maybe possibly buy something more cheaper because here they'll have to pay for, like, the rent and everything. So it's a bit more pricier, in my opinion. Regardless, this was amazing. It was so cute is so beautiful i got one actually um but it was really cool to just check it out like i also got one waist bead from here which is much cheaper in the streets or other places in the town um so just don't i mean i wouldn't recommend if you're like living in budget or traveling in budget you know this is la must we just came to have some little drink before you know, going to Malcolm actually. This is like the more recently built Malcolm, which is humongous. I was like so surprised to see this place. Um, but I just came to check out the place also to buy a blanket kind of thing, like a throw over blanket for me and a little cushion for like my napping <laughs> anyway i just wanted to show you guys around the inside and like how the vibe is in here and they they have like mainly two floors and like the first floor is all the grocery shopping area kind of thing and the second floor that we are at right now is like furniture mostly and other like non-food related things you know Raw. Or, or toasted almonds, but not this one. Guys, guys, there's just like normal black and red, like stretch like this. But then, the elbow. But we left it all crispy. Look at this small pitted shoes, bro. Where's this from? You're like, who's a Cinderella, no? Do you go? It's not as big as we thought. Yeah, we can play. We literally have been seeing this place so much on social media, so we came to check it out, but then it was, it was pretty small, guys. I mean, regardless, it was nice. Like, it was just fun to check it out and, like, play while you come to Malcolm to do other stuff but then I don't think I'll come here to you know for this per se um, when you play the game well they have this like ticket things that comes out of the machine which you can change it into the price but then um, you'll have to play a lot to get something so I'm like is it worth it <laughs> uh, we ended up not being able to get anything but we enjoyed it was a great time though uh, we were considering giving our tickets to someone else so that they could actually get something, but um, apparently that wasn't allowed it, so I mean, just FYI, you know, maybe you can just keep the ticket next time and then keep adding on to it, which I'm not sure is allowed it as well, but anyway. As you guys may know by now, I love chocolate, and so I was very excited. Um, my sister just FaceTimed me. Anyways, anyways, guys, I was very excited to try this place out. You can find this um, place, Chocolate Sarai, at Akramal and also in Osu. After trying, I should tell you my favorite was the pistachio chocolate. So if you guys ever see it, I do recommend the pistachio flavor. It's quite a what? Sweet is it good? I like it. So this is the pistachio chocolate I'm talking about. I'm not sure what exactly the name is, but it was warm. And the other one was actually cold. The 
the milk chocolate one. So just keep that in mind. That's chocolate milk. Guys, we are going to a bookstore. I don't know what the name is, but we're heading to the bookstore and I am... Okay, right now it's 1.57 p.m. And we're heading to a bookstore because the book that I'm reading, Mummy, Mummy, <laughs> uh, which I got from the book fair last time, I'm almost done reading it, so I wanted something more to read. Um, which I want to discover, not discover per se, I mean discover for me because I'm like, it would be new for me. Um, some authors, local authors or people, like something based in Ghana, basically, I want to read those kind of books. So I'm very much looking forward to the bookstore. I don't know what they sell actually, like what kind of books they have, but I am very excited. I was so desperate to just find my next book because after reading Mummy, which is like a author who's Ghanaian based in UK, she talks about like the culture or the, like some settings of Ghana and things like that. So it was pretty relatable for me to read and I felt very connected to it. On that sense, it really got me into like finding more Ghanaian authors or like African authors or any book kind of based in Ghana, um, which I realized a lot of people like Oregonians are based in UK and published there but regardless it was very um, interesting for me to be able to read those literature which I didn't really study at school even so I do really recommend if you are in Ghana or any location where you can scout out more books of your own cultural settings or like your background or if you're living something that you can relate to other than the other books that are we're just so accustomed to it's from school or something like that anyway i just really <laughs> i've really started to enjoy this part of literature and like this world so i really just wanted to introduce you guys to it as well well please check it out guys I feel like I need to scout out more Ghanaian authors who are published in Ghana, but then I'm not really sure about the publishing scene in Ghana. So I'm actually interested in that as well, you know. Okay, let's see some snacks. A lotus is there. Am I the only one who loves this kind of weather in Ghana? Like, this kind of, like, almost gonna, like, rain so heavily, darkening sky, crazy foggy kind of weather. Like, I used to love it when it was this kind of weather at school, for some reason. Yeah, I'm gonna just like dive in. Cold? Super cold? Huh? It's warm? That's great. That's good news for Sam. We're gonna swim, guys. We're gonna swim. Let's try. Why are you holding it that way? Of course. Why is this bad? Oh, thank you. <laughs> She's so sweet. Ah, uh, yeah. of course. <laughs> 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 so.
so that was the day of my life i hope you enjoyed the dancing singing and the korean food the touching passion from like the younger generation of Ghanaians towards like other cultures i mean korean culture in this instance um it was really touching that you know they were immersing themselves in other cultures and really expanding their cultural like palette um that was really cool to see um i hope you enjoyed other shopping eating and also like my book discovering tour um, at the same time i really just want to show you like a kind of mundane ish day to day life of my stay in ghana which is like not you know i don't want to generalize people like you know to show what ghana is like but then this is a part of ghana that the media doesn't really focus on much so i want to diversify that image in the portrayal so i hope anyone who aren't is not living in ghana gets a glimpse of like other aspects of ghana as well and i just want to add on thank you so much for watching and for every like comment and subscription i really do appreciate it so so much so thank you so much and there are more videos coming so stay tuned and um for last you know as i say stay blessed guys Bye!